Greetings, and welcome to Before We Leave. I'm Catherine of Sky, and you may remember this game from a little while back when we played it via Epic. Um, it is now coming to Steam and with a lot of new changes. So um, the all of the new content, and there's a whole bunch of stuff that has been added to the game, including scenarios and different things added just to the free play part of this game. Uh, and that is all coming on May 13th. So of course, if you want to support me, you can buy it on Epic or there is also a, uh, you can buy it on Steam now on May 13th. So anyway, um, I've, this, this is a game that is kind of like, I don't know. I always think of it and I was like, huh, I should go and play that again. And you know what? Today's the day. I'm going to play it. So um, the main game is a free play where you kind of explore the world and you create a civilization in a peaceful place with the exception of Wild Space Whales. Um, we're not going to talk about that right now, though. We're going to look at scenarios because these are brand new to me. So, um, we have Apocalypse Soon. <laughs> this is a prequel to Before We Leave, telling the story of why your peeps start out in shelters. We have Getting Busy. Keep a thousand peeps happy as your lone planet groans under the weight of a booming population. That is a lot of people. Hut Owners Association. Put your planning to the test and work with the strict standards of the Hut Owners Association. Can you build a thriving civilization while adhering to their rules? Oh my, I used to live in a neighborhood like that. It was awful. Seed Hunter. The peeps have emerged full of wonder without any seeds for their fields. You'll need to explore your solar system for ancient seeds to help your civilization flourish. This seems fun to me. So we're going to try a Seed Hunter. Let's go and play this. In bygone times, humanity descended into bunkers to escape a galactic disaster. Only centuries later, when the cause of the calamity was forgotten, did humanity emerge. Having lost all but remnants of their past history and knowledge, they begin once again on a planet born anew. Okay, the peeps have made a horrifying discovery. Moisture seeped into your seed stores and mold has spread like fungal wildfire. Every seed from your history is gone. Just when you thought you couldn't get more sick of potatoes. But hope remains. There are stories of other seeds scattered across your solar system, preserved in places occupied long ago. Notice it says solar system. As in, we get more than one planet. This is pretty exciting. Plant fields now require one resource of the type it grows. For example, potato fields require one potato as well as two wood, and orchards require one fruit as well as four wood and one tool. Find some ancient ruins to get seeds. Okay, so we start off on a planet made out of hexagons. It's kind of cool. I like it. It's a really fun kind of thing. Um, we have here, let me just show you what we've got. This is where our they've put us. We have a generator. This is for power in just a little while. You notice there's this, um, yeah, there's like a gas mask. That's the bad zone. Uh, all the place around it will become polluted. So we probably don't want to settle our peeps right there. Uh, we have these things that are ancient technology. They're kind of like I don't know, they're like little green pills or something. Um, the different colors of tech are, well, they're different colors and they give you access to different tech. Uh, oh, I think. Um, we also have here a transmogrifier. This is our early game, convert random stuff into tools. And here we have wood into tools. And then we start, here is our shelter. This is where our people are gonna come up from the depths. Uh, there is a, uh, they, they open up the door and they leap out. Okay, and here we have people. Here's Abigail. There is a guy here, Webb. All right, cool. They're ready to do stuff. And we start off with road, one road out of the shelter. And this is our future goal. This is a ruined ship. So we're going to need all of these materials in order to build a ship so that we can sail in the water. So um, let's talk about what makes kind of a good city. This part here, these are cliffs and stone. And this particular area is where you can mine things like a rock stone from these. They call it a mountain, but it looks like a ruined building 
like a skyscraper building. And then these are rusting hulks, which kind of look like giant robots. Um, and then you can mine iron for those from those iron ore. We have things that are grasslands and we have uh, trees. So first thing we need to probably build a wood mine. Um, but I want to think about like where we want to put stuff because at some point we're going to be trading uh, with our other cities on other continents. So we want to kind of think about where we want our dock to be and all that kind of stuff. I'm thinking that this area up here, because it's already polluted, might be a good place to put the, um, the things like the iron making, the tool making up here. So outside of there is where I'm going to want, uh, to have the, um, well, things like, um, uh, what do you call it? Housing and fields. So what I'm going to do here is we need to start off with fields and also housing. Um, but we also need a woodcutter. So I'm going to build a woodcutter. Let's see, where do we want to put this? Um, we can also remove these trees, but I don't kind of really want to, I think I'm going to build a road here and then we'll have, um, the woodcutter there. That's what I'm going to do. So we're going to press R, uh, as a quick thing. And then this woodcutter is going to be able to access all the trees kind of around him. And we can delete buildings and stuff. So it really isn't like critical, critical, uh, where we place stuff, we can move things, but just for convenience sake. Uh, we need to do other things there. So let's see. Um, now I want to think about where do I want potato fields? Now, this game isn't just plop, plop, plop. They get, um, each of the different tiles gets a bonus from other stuff. So if we put uh, fields next to a well, for example, they speed up the speed of the, of growing stuff. So I'm thinking if we have a group of fields here in this hexaground, hex, hexaground, I don't know if that's a word or not, but anyway, let's, let's build around here and we can delete this. What is the key for delete again? It is X. Oh, thank you very much. Go away. Um, so they're going to remove the wood from there and then we can use it for something else. And then I'm going to remove these trees and these, all of these trees. And then we'll have a nice central thing where we can have a well, and that's going to be touching all of these fields around here. Um, and I think I want to get these, this stone, uh, and for housing, let's see housing. I kind of want to have a group, uh, of things a set of two wide ribbon of, uh, of, of land to put houses on. So let's go ahead and put our well he, uh, no, not there. We want our road and then our well, which is going to be here. And then we're going to surround it with potato fields. Okay, good. So that's going to be great. And we're going to get to see uh, the bonuses. Yeah, no peeps. <laughs> that That's the construction bonus, not the actual bonus for the building. So how do we want to put in our happy peoples? Kind of thinking, let's see, could put a road here and there maybe. Yeah, that would be okay. Actually, that wouldn't be too bad. Um, maybe this one goes there actually, and then we'll get rid of this tree, get rid of, uh, this tree, that tree, and these trees. Yep. There we go. And then we'll start putting houses over here because people don't really want to work unless they have houses. I mean, it makes sense, I guess. So we're going to build a couple of houses there. We already have our potato fields going. And if we look at them, we can see what bonuses they're getting here. So one nearby field gives them plus two potato storage. Uh, one nearby well, production up by 10%. Uh, and then, of course, no peeps. Production slowed to 33%. But they still do stuff even if there are no peeps there. That's kind of great. 
So here, have we escaped the pollution? Yes, we have. All right, so let's see if we can build a road here and there. Yep, they can go through that area. That's nice. So let's go ahead and build another house here and there. And these guys get a bonus here. If they have a nearby house, they get plus one peep. So there we go. Okay, so this should be a good thing. And once we get more houses, more peeps are going to come up from the shelter over here. So that's what we're looking for in general. So let's add one there and there. And I guess probably there. Okay, so we have we have stuff going on here. This is good. Now then, uh, the next thing I want to do is build an explorer's area. An explorer's hut. And that is going to enable us to gather that green research. So let's go ahead and get a hut here. And then I want to build a library. And I guess we can build the library... Probably not there. Let's build it here, say. Yep, that's fine. And they can deliver the stuff to the library when the library is done. So right now we are getting stuff done. Look at this. We're farming. We're holding pitchforks to scare off, you know, wild raccoons or something. Um, because... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, they're doing great. They're having fun. We have peeps. They are little peeps. Here's Abigail again. This is Yoko. They have interesting names. Uh, is that Webb again? Hello? No, I'm clicking on the field, not the guy. Hello? Can I find out? Hello? Oh yeah, that is Webb. Look at that. There's Chloe. Nice, nice, nice. Or Chloe depending on your proclivities. Anyway, we now have, um, so anyway, it seems to be limited at this point uh, to plus two peeps, but we have generated housing for 27 people. That's kind of great. So let's look at our, oh, that was a little unexpected. Let's look at our thing. Okay, we still need to get wood and tools. Now tools we are way, way, way out of. So let's talk to our transmogrifier and say, make tools, please. Do all the things. Oh, and here comes the music. I really like the music in this game. It's pretty darn cool. Uh, all right, auto is good. So seed hunter, yay. We haven't found anything yet, alas. But what I'm going to do is I wanna delete some of these squares here so that we can get our roads moved along so that our explorers can keep collecting from these nodes. And we can also get kind of around the, the island here. Um, hmm. Let's see, should I put a road there and there? Should I just go through the middle? Hmm. Definitely want to demolish that and demolish the stone. So we're gonna need stone for things later. Aw, oh, this is cool. Look, they're, they're making music. They're so happy there. Yay. All right, so let's see. We can look at also our global numbers for things like water and food. So we have 40 water and 77 potatoes right now. And we have our production numbers here. We have um, green research. And then these are the fertilities for this island. We don't actually know what the other ones are because we don't have access to the other things, presumably so that our peeps can try it out or whatever. So, okay, the hut, the research hut has stuff for us to look at. We have 10. Uh, we can either get an elevator taking us to mining or we can go to gardening. Um, I don't think we're actually gonna get anything from gardening. So I kind of want to go elevator right now. And then we're going to need more research in order to pay for that mining. So there we go. We'll wait for our peeps to get to do stuff. So we have 27 people. We might need to build more houses, I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, I think that's a good idea, actually. Let's go here and there. Seems good. I'm not quite sure if they, they can extend this bonus of getting more peeps if you upgrade the houses. Because you definitely can, but you need to get the right tech in order to do that. So, but um, we can go and 
maybe start preparing this area for stuff. Let's get a road out here so that we can get oh, uh, and, and connect that other green research thing. And also connect this green research pile here. You can see how much research is stored. This has 95 research. This is pretty good. All right, we got the other research. We have 16 currently. So now we can build an elevator. Let's go ahead and click on, let's get mining. I think we want mining, yeah. Uh, and allows us to produce stone. And then, so what elevators are is they enable us to get up on top of these cliffs. So I'm thinking we can have an elevator. Let's see, I wanna have the pollution stuff, which is basically ore mining can or the ore processing can be down there maybe unless we want to have it up here but there's not a lot of room because of we need to have roads in here as well as um the other buildings whoa that was exciting wow uh that was bright let's see let's see if we can build ourselves a oh that was yeah we need to build more stuff oh maybe it made one uh we can build our elevator from here so i'm gonna build one I think that's a good spot or maybe we should build it here maybe yeah maybe here maybe here let's build one there so this needs three tools which is kind of a lot so we need to make sure that we're on top of that transmogrification all right so we got mining research yay and now we can see what else we can do we can get metal work we don't have quite enough we could get warehouses let's just go ahead and get warehouses because it's very cheap and that'll be a nice thing for us to have. Okay, and once we're finished with this elevator, that means we can build roads on top of here as well. So let me go ahead and connect this area. We'll go here like that. Let's see, that's just stone. So we'll go ahead and delete that stone. And delete that stone as well. So we can have one building processing this here, one building processing that. Oh, there's our elevator right there. It's quite cool. You can see people going up and down. Is he going to go down? Let's watch him go down. That's great. Oh, it's great. And it makes a nice sound too. I like it. <laughs> That's so neat. Okay, so um, we do have some kind of mining possibilities. By the way, when you have a new item, you get a star on the bottom of the category. So we have the ability to mine stone. Uh, and you can see which buildings are affected by they light up, which is nice. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just put this right here. Yes. Yes. Put that there. Um, and that's going to be pretty good for now. I don't think we need more than one of these right now. I think we're good. I kind of want to get bridges soon so that I could put a warehouse up here to store stuff. That would be kind of nice. But yeah, I love this, this up down elevator. It's great. It's pretty great. Did you know that forests will slowly remove pollution from tiles next to them? Mm hmm. Yes, it's good stuff. All right, research is done. We can now build a warehouse. But I also want to get the repair technology because that is going to allow us to repair the ship for one thing, uh, as well as the generator, which we're going to need for powering some other stuffs and things. Okay, so now we can get stone automatically instead of having to um, just pick up all the stone that we need, as in, you know, delete it this way. Let's see if we can, I think we want to get a road all the way out here. So let's just take this road that way. Just make sure that we have access to this, um, all of the research. I'm not sure if we have to have a road here or not. I'm no road speed penalty. Oh, we probably just get a speed penalty. So let's just go ahead and X this and then we'll build a road all the way out there. But uh, let's check on our water. We have only 15 water, so it's a good thing to build another well. Now, I'm not going to build a well next to houses because it does lower the, the speed of the well. I guess because people keep sneaking a drink. So we'll... Um, We'll put one right there. All right. 
Yes, did you know that your buildings can get bonuses? Yeah, you might say. You don't say, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so let's see. The tools are on their way. This is happy. Our well is happening. This is great. Uh, next thing I want to do is repair this one. So we need more power. So we got to repair the generator first. It, can we repair this? Yes. Repair. Okay. Going. Going to do this. Power. Um, our people love to carry stuff. And power is happening by them carrying fuel cells. So we have to keep in mind that buildings requiring power should really be close to there. So this is temporary because we're going to get this ship off of here shortly. So it's not that bad. So here we need wood, uh, tools. We definitely need more tools and power. All right, so here we go. Let's uh, get some metal work going on, and then we can do a bridge. Oh, that's great. All right, very nice. Oh, let's throw some of this rock here, stone. And let's see what we got here. Looking good, looking good. Everybody doing their job. All right, now then, we have a warehouse. We can build a warehouse now. It takes up two tiles instead of just one. And this is kind of a nice thing for building um, storage for, for food, for whatever. It's kind of nice for that kind of thing. Uh, I think... I'm not sure where I should build it, actually. Uh, and it's nice because of the way you can share goods and things in it. So I like that. We're just waiting now on the research here. Our researchers are happily researching along. We have 35 people. Let's see, we need, we might need more wood. I think that could be a good idea. So, what I could do is, after the ship goes away, I could build another forester here. I think that's what I'll do. I'll just do that. Uh, I could temporarily build a forester as well. Ooh, oh, but now we have mining. Let's get an iron mine. We'll put that one here. Yes. Put that one right next to the iron thingy thingy. Okay, on the card of the building that requires workers, you can click the little padlock icon underneath the worker slots to lock some of the slots so fewer people work there. That's really useful if... Uh, you don't have enough people and you want to lock out slots and it's talking about this here you can just lock them but it's we can we're, we're, we're quite good on people right now so we can afford to have them here we do need more tools for this but now we got our generator up and running it's a wood generator so they're gonna make little power cells out of wood and um, yeah I think we definitely need more more wood Let's see. I want to put it kind of here, but I don't want to delete these trees. That's kind of like, okay. But can we build trees? No, we, can. well, we can't. I think we can, but we haven't found the seeds for them yet, maybe. I don't know. Unless we haven't unlocked the tech. I'm pretty sure you can actually place uh, tree tiles. I think you can. Okay, so we can make a toolsmith and an iron smelter. Then we don't have to rely on the the other stuff anymore. So this is a good spot there. So let's clear this forest. I want to put them really on the edge of things uh, because of the bonuses. Uh, well, it, because of the not bonuses, actually, I guess. Let's see, delete this. I'm trying to keep as many trees as possible because of the pollution cleaning effect. So let's see. Let's build an iron smelter. And we shall build a tool smith. Now this is probably a good spot to build a warehouse as well. I'm going to build a warehouse right here. And this warehouse is going to hold... Probably iron, uh, iron tools, and iron ore. Okay, ship, are you almost done? Come on, ship, go, go, go. 
But now that we're going to get automatically made tools instead of clicking on this transmogrifier, I think it's going to definitely improve our production quite a bit. Let's see, we can also make another road right here and have access to two more building slots. Considering putting a woodcutter right there. Or I could put a road, road, road there and then a woodcutter here. That might also be actually really useful. Yeah, we'll do that maybe. Put a woodcutter right there. There's our woodcutter. There we go. And when we get forest tiles, I'm pretty sure you can plant forests and I don't know where it is. Where, where, where be it? Hello? Where is it? Um, we don't need any more explorers. I think it, one explorer's hut per island is pretty good unless you're in a big, big rush. Okay, let's see. How's this going? Hey folks, waiting for tools. It does have power, which is very nice. I like this. I like this, like powering to, to get the ship going. All right, let's see what else we have here. We can make a bridge and a school. That's good. Now the school is an interesting thing because you only have so many settlers underground. Uh, the rest are there. They have these things called children. Those are offspring of bigger things called parents. And um, you can <laughs> make more colonists that way. <laughs> Sorry for the, for the silliness there. <laughs> oh gosh, waiting for wood. Yes, we definitely need wood. Okay, can we, can I, like, here, like, make this more important. Go, go, go. Build woodcutter. Now, now, now. <laughs> and the woodcutters take care of their forest. They do plant more trees, so that's nice. And they have a, a large selection of trees. They kind of go around their area and, and go and chop ones nearby. See there, like, this tile isn't adjacent, so, so even though it isn't, he's going there and chopping stuff. I do like the animations of this game. It's quite cute, you know, and all of like, it's very like, I don't know, it's great. I like, I like the art style very much. Like I love these trees and stuff. Oh, shiny, huh, wow, that's exciting. Okay, oh, bridge research complete, hooray. Okay, uh, I want tools to be done, please. But we need to have, huh, imagine that we need to have wood. We need to have stone as well. We do have stone cutters not working because there's no no peeps because no storage space okay so we have eight stone already what i could do is i could remove these trees and put a warehouse maybe there for stone but i was going to put a warehouse up here i kind of want to get this bridge thing going because i like bridges i think they're cool so let's see we can do this or that I think maybe this is fine. This costs us six wood and three tools. So I don't want to build it right now. It's not necessary at the moment. Oh, oh, ship is building. Look, look. Hooray. Oh, this is great. This is so nice. That's neat. Okay. All right. Let's look here. See what else we can build. We can build our school. So let's build that. School building is also two tiles. So that's something to keep track of usually i put my school like way out in the boonies like over here or something <laughs> because it's one of these like weird buildings that you don't really need i guess i don't know if it's really cl i don't remember the bonuses if it has any or not um but it feels like it doesn't so we'll just put it wherever but we might find out later that it actually does get bonuses i don't know all right make more tools go 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 we haven't got any we haven't got anybody working at the tool factory because they need tools to make the tool factory <laughs> all right let's put these as higher priority as well so that they get tools and here oh they need more stuff they need more food i think are we actually out of food oh no we're doing okay we're doing okay we built another well there so it has brought our water level up a bit potatoes seem to be going strong so i think we're we're good on that good good oh this is exciting this is quite fun and of course this guy needs wood so it's good to have wood made close by oh this is these trees are getting a bit cut down i really would like to plant more trees i wonder if we'll be able to do that i could have sworn there was a tree planting option there might be as well it might be just the seed scenario that is weird 
but we'll see. Of course, I could be completely misremembering, and then you'll be like, you know, KOS, you promised us planting trees. <laughs> uh, oh dear. Okay. Uh, what happened just now? Research? Oh yeah, school is done. Okay. So we need, I guess gardening can come next. Normally that gives us veggie planting, but I don't think it's going to give us anything like that this time. But we do need it to unlock future buildings in the research tree. Now you'll see quite a few of these boxes have question marks. Like we don't know what they are because we don't know what they are. Um, and those are going to be with a new type of research, which we don't have access to yet. We might need a ship to have access to that. Anyway, let's click on the gardening. Hooray. Disabled. Oh, no. Really? Oh, I see. Okay, so maybe they'll give us the other stuff? Or, I don't know. That's confusing. All right, let's see what else we got here. We need tools. Big surprise. Wow. No. Let's uh, down prioritize that. So this is just going to keep on collecting research. Um, and in similar ways to Factorio, there are like those future things on the tree. Some of them require the next color of research and some of them require two colors of research. So just like Factorio where stuff would require like red and green research, this one is kind of similar where it might take more than one type to get things going. Oh gee, we need more tools. Imagine that. So I'm going to down prioritize this. We're going to put this mid priority again. And hopefully this guy gets the next set of tools here. Can go into hurry up land. There we go. It's making things. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay. Okay. Cool. We'll go back to regular land. Ah, oh, here we go. We have our iron smelter. So this thing requires iron ore to function as well as power. So, hmm, I wonder why we put it right next to the power structure. <laughs> uh, we need peeps for this to function. And hopefully some will do stuff. Let's see. Do we have... I know there's an overlay here that's going to tell us if we have enough stuff. If we have enough people. There we go. We have idle people. That would mean we have too many people. So hopefully... They can kind of, uh, yeah, employed. There we go. We can just sort that. How many are unemployed? We need people to work here. So hopefully they are going to get going into this and work. No iron ore available. Why is that? Oh, because this is not, oh, this is waiting for tools. Oh no, I thought this was done already. Oh geez. Okay. Well, we'll get that going. We'll get it going. Okay. Make more tools, please. Go, go, go. Hurry, hurry. And this is also waiting for tools. Oh dear. This needs... Yeah. It takes a while to get the tools. I guess I should have gone for mining, like, quick, quick. Alright, let's go ahead and just speed the game up a tiny bit here. Full steam ahead. Yes. Alright, there we go. Of course, you don't have to actually go this fast. You can just chill and listen to the music and have a nice time. Um, oh yes, and here we have our little, um, our blacksmith, or toolsmith. They make tools. Imagine that. Look at that. They have like a little uh, hammer and an anvil and water uh, waiting for iron, which is made at the iron area. Okay, so we have a warehouse. I love this. Look at this warehouse. Isn't this great? I love that the top is bigger than the bottom. That kind of is reminiscent to me of uh, some Norwegian structures that I saw when I went to visit my friends in Norway land. Anyway, um, what we can store here, I want to store the stuff for this production so the peeps don't have to walk that far. So what I'm going to get is we're going to store iron ore, iron ingots, and tools. Now notice how many it stores when I click one. 60, now it's 40 each. It automatically divides things and I really love that feature. I think it's pretty great. That's very neat. Okay, so here we are. We have finally our little iron ore mine. I like I like this. I, I like this part about like it's going in up. Um that's great. <laughs> I don't know why that happens, 
but it is a sort of roller coaster minecart ride. It's very cool. <laughs> I I have to admit, I I used to do things like that or draw pictures like that of having like trains going on these like uh, almost like roller coaster type uh, tracks and stuff. So anyway, let's see. I think our peeps have. I want to see if they get this research over here. It's 137. This one's 47. See if they pick up any of that. They might not. Oh, I got blacksmith achievement. That's cool. Uh, let's see. Gathering. Let's see. Yep. This is. We don't have anything else that we can do right now. There's 71 research stored here, which is okay. So it'll be ready for later. So now these guys are going to need some stuff for later. But now we already have production. Okay. Let's check this out. So the game is really, really smart in that if there's no materials, people move on to work somewhere else. It's it's really neat that uh, they just like knows to do it and it's not like you don't have to micromanage every single thing. And people are now making tools as well. This is extremely exciting. We don't have to click the transmogrifier anymore, but we can if we want to. Uh, because we do want to. We want to build this ship so that we can get stuff going and go to a new continent. I'm also thinking about building a bridge here to get the... Ooh, I know what I'll do. I think I know I'm going to build a bridge the other way, actually. Let's build Bridgey Bridgey here. We might build the school out here somewhere. Yeah, that could be funny. Um, let's see, can I, can I actually do that though? Can I build a warehouse here? I don't know. Warehouse, eh? Eh? No? Uh, we could put it here, I guess. It's a little bit, I don't know. It's definitely not ideal. Actually, let's move this. Let's uh, bulldoze the bridge part. Yes. Okay, no bridge. I want to do the bridge here so we can have warehouse here and it's a little bit more direct that way. I think that's better. So we build road there. It's a little less S-shaped. Okay, let's get that bridge back again and we'll do this kind of thing. And then we'll have warehouse here. And this will just be for stone, I think. And then I might do a school. We'll see about this. Colony ship Major Tom has been constructed on Island One. Wow, that's cool. There you go. So there is our ship. And that, I think, is where we're going to leave this particular episode because we're kind of out of time in terms of starting a brand new adventure. So dawn is upon us. I love this, like looking around the planet. Here you can see the, the underside of the planet. It's great. The world is indeed flat at the moment. It might get spherical later or he hexa something -ical. But we do have the sun over there, which is just a new day for our island. Anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Wishlist this on Steam if it's catching your attention. If not, keep on watching. Um, thank you to everyone who watches, who supports, who does all the things. Y'all are great. And I hope that this video has brought you a little bit of happiness. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.